Hello, my name is Henry Emfrey, and this is a Babylon JS game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert an animated Colada.dae file and turn that file into a .babylon file extension so that you could use animated models in this Babylon JS game engine. Or in essence, you could use animated models in maybe a browser game or web game that you might be making. So the first thing that we have to do is go to Google and search Babylon JS. And when you get to this page, we're going to click on Babylon.js. And then we're going to scroll down and try Babylon JS in the playground. Click on that. And then when we get to this page, we're going to go to the far right corner and click search. And then in this middle tab, I'm going to search animation. And then we're going to scroll down and I'm going to go to animation with slow FPS. Click on that and click playground. So this is the actual file that we're going to use. And in this tutorial, we're going to swap out this guy here and delete these things that are in these quotation marks. And we're going to replace do with our own .babylon model. So now we're just going to click the zip at the top. Now, so you can download your zip file wherever you want. I'm going to download mine into my Babylon JS folder that I created before this tutorial. So you're going to have a sample.zip file and you just want to click save once you get to the folder that you want to use. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to go to another site called Mixamo. And in Mixamo, we're just going to use this default character and we're going to attach a walking animation to it. So, walking. I think this first one is good, so we're going to use that. And before you click the download button, you want to hit, you want to check this in place box so that our character can stay in place when he's animating and he won't look weird in in the case as let's say you're trying to build a game or so he won't be running all over the place and stuff so now that so after this box is checked we will click download and then I'm going to click on colada.dae and all these other settings look good, so we're just going to click download. And once again, I'm going to download that zip to my Babylon JS folder as well. And when that's done downloading, last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google. And when I get to the Google page, I'm going to type in I'm going to type in Blender Blender to Babylon JS exporter. And then when you get to this part, you you want to scroll down to this GitHub page right here. Export Blender and Master GitHub page. And I'm going to go to Blender to Babylon 5.6. Then I'm going to click download. So that's I'm also going to download this particular zip to this Babylon JS folder. So now that all my folders are downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and abstract all the things that we need for what we're doing. So I'm going to first start with this, this sample zip. You can either click uh, extract all or you can just copy, you can just cut and paste it like I'm doing. Uh, whatever you, whatever your preference is. Okay, so now this, this is our game file right here that we just took out. And now we're going to take out our walking animation. I'm going to do the same thing here. So now that we got all of our things extracted, for this tutorial's purpose, I'm going to go ahead and delete these uh, zip files to eliminate confusion. And for this tutorial, we're not going to use these zip files anymore. And in the scenes file, it contains our dude file, but we're not going to use this. So we're just going to delete that too, because we're going to create our own model. Our model is right here with this walking. and so now we're going to leave everything like this. 
So now that we got everything that we need, we're going to go ahead and fire up Blender. And this version of Blender that I'm using is 2.79B, B as in Blender. Well, I don't usually use Blender. Um, Blender is not usually my preference, but but in this tutorial, we're using it to convert our files. And this is the best option that we have so far. So, um, so I'm going to delete the cube here. And I'm going to go to File. Then I'm going to go to Import. Colada.dae. Then I'm going to go back to that Babylon.js file. And on a side note, whenever I'm developing games for Babylon.js or the Godot engine, I always use a USB flash drive, or some people call it jump drive, some people call it USB stick. It's a USB memory drive that costs $8 at Walmart. And I do all my game development stuff from that because I like to be able to develop my games on different computers. Like sometimes I develop my games at school, sometimes I develop my game at the library or wherever. So this and using the USB drive makes it so that you can do everything from this USB drive and you don't have to install anything on anybody's computer. So this is just an idea. So now I'm just going to go back to my thumb drive and go back to that Babylon JS folder that we've been talking about all along. And I'm going to click on this walkin.dae. Now, the important thing is after clicking on this, I'm going to come to this left panel here and check mark import units fix leaf bones find bone chains auto connect and keep bind info and then i'm going to go to minimum chain length and put in one so minimum chain length should be set to one and then is when i import my Collada file. Okay, so this is our model. And then finally I'm going to click Control A, click on rotation and scale. And on this left side you should see that these two boxes, the rotation and scale boxes are checked. So that's what we need. And then I'm going so now we're gonna upload our Babylon dot uh, zip file. So I'll go to file users preferences. And then make when the add-ons tab is is set to blue, go to install add-ons from file. And once again, I'm going to go back to my Babylon JS folder from that's on my USB drive. Um, here's a, here's the folder here, and then I'm going to click this Blender to Babylon 5.6 zip. Um, even though this file is already, it's still in the zip, Blender will unzip it for you. So after that, just click I'm going to click Install Add-ons from File. Now, once you do that, you should get this tab here, and then click on that. If for some reason, if you don't see that tab, you can put in the word baby, and it should also show up. So anyway, when you see this tab, just check mark the box here, and then click Save User Settings, and then go ahead and exit that box. Now, the fun part. Now we're going to export this, this, go to file, go to export, and now that we uploaded our Babylon zip file, you should see this uh, tab down here that says Babylon JS version 5.6.4, because that's the zip file we just loaded. So click on that, and then, of course, once again, I'll go back to this Babylon JS folder that we've been working with all along, and then 
up here in this tab, I'm just going to rename this. I'm just going to name it Henry. And then I'm going to click Export Babylon JS Scene. Okay, so our file was exported. So we're just going to minimize Blender and then go back to our folder. So now we got this Henry.Babylon file. That's what we just exported from Blender. So when this is in there and we got everything here, we're going to go ahead and left click on this index file. You can use whatever ID that you want, but I always use uh, Notepad++ to do my programming. Um, you can find Notepad++ via Google search and just download it. But use whatever IDE you want. I mean, there's NetBeans, you got uh, Atomics, uh, you got Sublime. There's a lot of different IDEs. But this is what I'm using. Okay, so then I'm going to go into Edit with Notepad. And then you're going to see all this stuff. We're not concerned about all this stuff. We're going to go down to this section where it says Babylon Scene Loader dot import mesh and what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this word him and we're going to delete this scene slash dudes part so after you do that there should just be quotation marks on both both sections and then we're going to delete the word dude and insert the word henry because that's the babylon folder that we exported from blender so now we're going to use that so after that, we're going to click Save. And then we're going to minimize Notepad. And we're going to left click on this index.html folder again. And then we're going to play our, we're going to just run our scene. Uh, I'm going to run mine with Firefox because Google Chrome acts kind of weird when dealing with this Babylon.js engine or WebGL or whatever uh, out of all the things that Google Chrome can do um, they act weird when it comes to games and our animated character is inside the browser so that's how you convert your animated models I always use DAE models into the dot Babylon JS file so that you can make animated browser models in the using the Babylon JS engine so that's all I want to show you. Till next time. Thanks.